Guys, one of the biggest drops apparel-wise of the year, Sunday Red. Is there a bigger apparel line that was dropped or announced in the last 10 years? <sighs> like a startup? Yeah. Probably not startup-wise, not in golf. No startup apparel company gets this much hype. No. And it's only because of one reason. That's Tiger Woods. Yeah. So we're going to unbox some stuff. We're going to try some stuff on. I know you guys, what you want to see more than anything, and the reason you guys subscribe to this channel is a fashion show from Tate and I. Yeah. You want to see guys. us trying on clothing. Yep. They love it. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Don't forget, guys, if you're in the Denver metro area or you're coming through Denver for vacation and you need some new golf stuff or you need some swag, stop by and see us. We're, we're right between Denver and Boulder, so pretty close to two of the main hubs of Colorado. Or you can go to our website, which is live tomorrow, by the way. New website live tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Well, by the time this video posts, it'll be live. It's already live, yeah, exactly. Or you can shoot us an email at info at embersgolf.com, and Trevor and I will write you back. Talk to me about your initial thoughts. By the way, when I was checking out for this stuff, um, it was like buffering, and it, like, it buffered, and a big TaylorMade logo showed up on it. Yeah. So it's definitely affiliated with TaylorMade. Right. If you, there was any wonder. Um, TaylorMade does stuff right. Well, we you know, show all of their stuff looks really good. I'm excited about it. It all looks really high quality. Look at that. Okay. So boxing is okay. Ooh, um, I like the tiger stripes. Oh. I don't remember what I ordered. Ordered a bunch of stuff. That's a lot Boxing's of stuff, boss. Cool. Boxing, the box is cool. Welcome to Sunday Red. Brand blah, blah, blah. Incredible product team from Tiger Woods. I, I, this is tight. You didn't buy a ball marker, did you? Uh-huh. How much was that bad boy? Well, that's what we're going to get into in this video. Okay, I saw the price online. Too expensive. Okay, um, pretty boring. Exchanges, okay. Goodbye. Get that out of here. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, now my spiel on it is yeah. What do you think? Shopping what was your for thought? it is the. It's obviously not available available to everybody. A lot of it sells out, so they're they're clearly intentionally making it um limited. Yeah, because how did it work? You had to have already yeah. logged in. Yeah, well, for their original Pines release, which I didn't get any of anything on. And then um, it's obviously extremely pricey. So we're going to talk pricing in here. Very, very, very expensive stuff. And I'm going to give you my take on that. But it's very limited and expensive. So basically what they're saying is it's not for everybody. So it's not a brand for the masses, right? Okay, so when you were on their website, Trevor, what were you hoping to see? What did you want? What do you like wearing on the um, course? My biggest irritation was um for me personally is that it didn't have his logo on a lot of stuff the tw it's like all very very plain which is fine wait are you talking the tiger logo yeah, the new the logo TW. the new logo the new logo yeah like here's their hoodie like their lightweight hoodie which is cool but it's very very plain yeah so how does it show sunday red on that it doesn't really so it's super simple very plain and straightforward so I was a little annoyed oh. that, there we go. There's our Sunday. Ouch. So I was a little annoyed that we didn't get to see more stuff. Because if you're buying Sunday Red, you're most likely a big Tiger fan, right? Yeah, and you're going to kind of pay extra for the, ti the new Tiger, yeah. the Sunday Red logo. So it was annoying. This is the mock neck. I just don't oh, know. that's a sweater. No. Short sleeve. Where are you wearing that? I just, I just don't know if I... If I have the body for this right you're now. gonna golf somebody would golf in this you think i don't know i could barely get my hands on anything it's almost sold out now here's the kicker what i really wanted to know about the golf glove is it a nike golf glove fifty dollars fifty bucks fifty dollars i mean that's nice yeah that's but how long nice does a golf leather. glove last you if you're if you're if this one better last longer if you're diligent with it maybe four or five rounds mm-hmm it's solid. Very solid. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you think that the highest end tailor made glove is what? $25? 25 So it's double the price. It is soft. I wonder if it's lamb. You want to try it? 
If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. That's right. <laughs> he did. It is nice. Nor thinking to Tiger though, Tiger normally has vents, so I, I doubt Tiger's wearing this glove, this model of glove. I oh. guess we'll find out in a couple days. But we got some freebies. Hey, some tees. Some Sunday red tees. So you spend a few hundred dollars, you get a couple wooden tees. Yeah, you get 20 cents worth of tees. That's cool. Okay, now their red collection dropped. So, of Ooh, course, I did have to snag some red. So this is the main polo that sells out. Again, so where's the tiger? Got the text just on the back. It's got the textured neck. Um, That's thick. We're, let's try some stuff on and just kind of see here what we're dealing with. Out. I got a pair of pants just to try out. I definitely don't need any pants. What made you choose that color? <laughs> because I already, they had like black and navy and I already got a million black and navies. What do you think of the stuff being so expensive? That's what I want to know. For me, um, if it's going to be that expensive, it has to be the nicest yes. on, the, on the market, which is hard to beat because Puma makes great apparel. Nike makes decent apparel. Um, Peter Millar right now is probably the highest end of apparel, and this is just as expensive as Peter Millar. Yeah. What about you? What do you think about it being so pricey? Um, it ha like uh, it has to be better. Like I'm I, I don't mind paying money for something, like, but it has to be better quality. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's not bad. With the tiger on the sh bicep too. Oh, it's got. Oh yeah. Okay, that's not bad. This one's not bad either. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Long sleeve. See, that's pretty slick. Yeah. It's just red. You know, I feel like a, when I'm wearing red, here's the problem with red. There's two problems. And this is the fundamental problem with the Sunday red name and brand. Okay. Here's my problem with it. Tell two me your problems. Problem. Red is Tiger's color. Yeah. So anytime you're wearing it, even though it's cool, um, you're a little bit of a poser. Yeah, especially on the golf course. <laughs> you yeah. see a guy in black pants and a red top, you're like, easy. Yeah. Right? Who do you think you are? Yeah. Who do you think you are? The second problem, personally, this is just me. When I put on a, a red, I feel a little bit like Andy Reid. Yeah. <laughs> it is not the most flattering color on it's us. It's not my color. Guys. It's not my color. Yeah. If you're a little bit husky... Yeah. You know, it's like when my mom used to take me to J.C. Penney's as a little kid. Where are your huskies? Like, Mom, yeah. why are you saying that so loud? We can just find it. We find it on our own. You don't have to shout it from the rooftop that I need a husky. It's pretty much the big and tall section for 12-year-olds, which is not <laughs> a good place to be. No. And this looks right up the husky alley. Yeah. It's just going to bring back husky memories. I love memories. that. You look like, Kansas, you look like uh, Coach Reed. Coach Reed. Put <laughs> in his tight red windbreaker. <laughs> Do you think when he got hired at Kansas City, he's like, you know what? What do you think about changing yeah, the Yeah, red's colors? not. I really looked good in Philly green. In black. Yeah. All right. Another t-shirt here. That's cool. It's thick. It's thick. It's it all doesn't thick stuff. Seem like it's going to breathe. Yeah. I think for me, I, I want to know the most about the hoodies. That should just be a black hoodie. That's or, the only sorry, thing. I don't know why. Trevor bought that. all that, and I bought this. Yep. So that was my one purchase. That's yours. Thanks. <laughs> These are all tees. Where's the so, ball so for me, when I purchased um, the hoodie, uh, golf hoodie is probably my favorite thing to have on the golf course. What? Like Why? a really thin. Talk because you have that. a polo, but there's not a whole else lot that's long sleeve that's like comfortable on the golf course. Mm -hmm. Like a quarter zip maybe is a good idea, but a hoodie, you put the hood up. Like in Scotland, I had a hoodie on every single day, and it was wonderful. Uh, I don't know. I hate like the tassels when I'm trying to putt. You think this level of hoodie has tassels? I, I didn't think about that. Now that you bring that up. Duh. I think you're thinking Old Navy hoodies. All right, let's clean Old this Navy. place up. Let's try some stuff on. All right, so this is just the regular T-shirt. Yep. It's a little tight on the neck. I feel like I got to like, pull it. It's well fitted. It fits you really well. I feel so... Um, we'll, we'll just talk sizing a little bit. That way, if you want to order any of this stuff, you kind of know what kind of size to get. Sure. Um, I'm six foot three, um, 225 pounds, and a little chubby. And this is a size large. It's, I'm playing a dangerous game. I'm flirting with an XL here. 
Yeah. For sure. T-shirts are always a little tough. Yeah. Like, I think before dinner, I'd be fine. Yeah. After walking dinner. Walking out of the restaurant. Walking out of the restaurant, I might be in trouble. Sure. So, it's very thick, though. Really thick. Yeah. What's that T-shirt brand um, that we bought in Atlanta? Mo... Mo uh, starts Mo, with an M. Mo... Mo Betta? Mo Betta? No, but it's very thick. Oh. Madewell. Madewell. Yes. Yeah. It's Madewell. No, but it is very thick of high quality shirt. What I'm looking for in a good quality shirt is I don't like it super boxy, which is again a dangerous game when you're chubby because you need big loose lines. But I like a fitted shirt a little bit, and usually higher end shirts have that. But it's definitely yeah. like a thick it's definitely not your ten dollar old navy t shirt. No. Okay, so Trevor uh, Trevor has his haul in front of him. Mm -hmm. This is mine. I already have it on. I've successinessfully tried on all my stuff, which is good. Very efficient. Well, let's, just, um, let's try I'll try on I'm another six foot I'm six foot, 235, chubby as well. I did a large because XL is what I would normally order, but they are sold out. So I had to just get a large because it's the best I could get. I think because a hoodie's made to wear over stuff, it fits me actually pretty good. You'll have to let me know in the comment section if it's too tight. But I feel like I could comfortably swing a golf club. It's very thin. This is the, this is the same hoodie? Yeah. Yeah, the peach is not doing me any favors, I don't think. It's a risky color again. Yeah. What size did you get there? This is a large. Yeah. I think I get away with a large a little bit better because it's black. Yeah. Maybe. But it, it doesn't look bad. You also have a very thick t-shirt on now yeah, underneath that's it. That's true. By the way, should we just get it out of the way for all the trolls right now? Like, we know we're chubby. Yeah. I've been on YouTube for 15 years. There's nothing you can say I haven't already heard. Um, so I have a fire push here. I'll just give you a couple. A couple really good ones. You guys want a couple good ones? So we can get out in front of the trolls. So probably the two best ones I've ever gotten on YouTube yep. for troll comments when it comes to my weight is going to be uh, my other channel is a fire push channel. And I get, I got, uh, this guy doesn't need a fire place. He needs a treadmill. <laughs> that one uh, is made okay. for some guns. That this one's was made. the one I was most excited about was the polo. I went large because I'm wearing large in Nike and Puma. And it's definitely too much of a athletic cut. Yeah. But that it's thing's uh, made for like Brooks Kepka's biceps. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's longer in the back though. So it's supposed to like stay tucked in a little bit better. Yeah. But um, a little snug for me. So Quality I'll, looks really I'll good, I'll be though. exchanging this for an XL because I don't need it hugging on the love handles. But very, very thin. does seem high quality. What I'd want to know is how well the collar is going to hold up. Yeah. Like after you and in the it. comment section below, it's a very wide collar. So instead of coming down, it goes out yeah, to the side. Let us know what you think of that. But yeah, too tight for me. So large is a no-go for me. Holy cow. They're very slim fit, huh? Yeah. So this is another large. Whew. Man, this, this video today is making me feel like I need to hit the gym even more. That one actually fits you better, though. It's just because you're, you're nipping out a little bit. Yeah, a little bit better. But Again, I love the Sunday red on both biceps. That's yeah. pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad. Not my favorite, but not bad. All right, we got the mock neck. This is annoying. I don't know how people like Tiger like that. To play in that would be... It's a is fashion this technically thing. a golf... Can you golf in this? It is thin. Yeah, it's collared. Yeah, I don't know. It's I could see that maybe you need a little added warmth. But Throw the tag around the back. Let's see it. Okay, yeah, so now... It's kind of annoying. That's like Tiger Woods 2000. Yeah. It looks good, though. That one fits you good. What yeah. size is that, large? Large? Yeah, that one fits you well. All right, let me try the pants on so we can get the whole outfit. All right, here's the pants. What do you th They're very baggy. Really baggy pants. I don't like them. No. It's like... Um, they look like Jason Day's pants. Yeah, right some, now. some uh, they look like some some pennies pants. We had JC pennies on the brain. That's what they look yeah. like. Some Super slots. lightweight, good pockets. This these are a thirty six, thirty two, uh, way too big. Though. Yeah, but a thirty four, thirty that would be kind of a rough size for you, huh? Yeah, I don't wear thirty four. Well, my jeans are thirty fours, I guess. But um, thirty four, no. don't love the pants. No, what's crazy to me is how slim fit the tops are, and how baggy the pants are. But that's, again, 90s. You kind, you kind of got some chicken legs going, though. Like, oh, you don't carry much weight in your legs. Mm -mm. I do. 
carry you do weight. carry weight in your legs? Yeah. You have wow. one of the smallest butts I've ever seen. <laughs> That's getting weird. <laughs> All right. This nut mock neck is hot. Let me change and we'll do wrap this up. All right. There's our try on haul. What are you, what are you thinking? Um, I really like my hoodie. Now, the cost of this hoodie, I think, was $130. Yeah. It's so would expensive. I buy more? No, probably not. Yeah. The Puma. Puma makes really good. Pina Millar makes really good golf hoodies. Um, Nike has quarter zips. Good Good has quarter zips. There's a lot of overwear for golf that is very, very nice for a lot yeah. cheaper. My thing is, is it's very pricey. Yes. And I'm, I'm all for buying something expensive. I, I think it's better to buy something that's more expensive and going to be better quality and it's going to last you longer. If it's going to fit you better, it's going to look good. But if it, I'll only pay more if it's better. Yeah, so what did a polo cost? 130 There's so, the There's the other one which sold out, which is 160 So what's a comparable polo price? 90 Yeah, so like, and this is, don't even get me started on some of the big guys, but they're $80, $90, and they're, they're already overpriced. They're mass-produced polos Yeah. that don't hold up very well. Yeah. So you're already overpaying, I think, at the $90 price point, which yeah. is what the going rate is for polos now. So... I mean, getting double the value out of the polo. That was what I was most excited about was the polo, and unfortunately, it just doesn't fit. But the quality seems good. Quality seems good. Um, Are you going to order that in three or four different colors? Probably not. I'll probably order one. I'll probably yeah. have one. But uh, it's solid. I'm going to probably keep the shirt. But I do think initially, after the review, my initial verdict would be that it's overpriced. Okay. I would, I would agree. Time would tell. Time is going to tell. But you're paying for the Tiger brand, Yeah, I think, a lot. Which Quali is the same reason you'd buy a TW Nike polo back in the day. Yeah. Is it any better than a regular Nike polo? No. It just has a different logo on it. And they'll charge you more. Exactly. It seems that's happening again. Good quality stuff, though. I'm not saying it's bad quality. But I, I don't necessarily know if I agree with the price points. Yeah. Is it $30, $40, $50, 60 better than the... the no. And is limited. Yeah, it sold out really fast, which they make a lot of sales in that, just impulse. So it's not a bad way to go. It's a good market strategy. I kind of like, the from a business person standpoint, like I like the strategy. Like make it more exclusive, make it more expensive. I mean, if you just release another $90 polo, you're pretty much throwing your hat in the ring with 20 giants. Yeah, you got to make it better. So... And the other thing, you are differentiating yourself, so I like it from a business standpoint. It makes sense. Smart move. The other thing is when Tiger did his New York tour, so he did all the Tonight Shows, he did the Good Morning America, he did all of that. He had Sunday Red on the whole time, and it looked fantastic. Yeah. Like, it's probably because he's jacked, so he makes it look a lot better than the average Joes do. Yeah, this but, was a review from the average Joes. Yeah. Your chubby guys. Yeah. But he, they did, the Sunday Red's doing a really good job. I like what you said. They differentiated themselves with price point, and it probably is nicer quality. Time will tell, like you said. The, the branding is really cool, too, so they're going to get a lot of sales that are just Tiger phenoms, guys that love Tiger. And I do like what I do. What I will say, what I like about the branding is everything, you know, with, like with Bad Birdie, Puma, like the shirt I'm wearing, a lot of busy patterns, a lot of in-your-face stuff, a lot of neons. Like this is all very understated, very classy, very simple, elegant look. Which just spells tiger. The guy <laughs> never wears... I mean, he'll wear a pink polo once in a while, but otherwise yeah. he's white, black, pink, and blue. But I just mean from, from just wearing it out, even off of the golf course, it's a nice understated look that you can really wear anywhere. Yeah, for sure. Um, I wish the polo just fit a little bit better, but it, it was very, very lightweight. I could tell that would probably be one of the most breathable polos I would wear. Yeah. So that's our review. Let us know what you guys think. If you guys bought any of it and like it or disliked it, put it in the comment section. Tell us your initial feedback. My initial feedback, and if I was just going to make it in a very short, simple answer, good, not great. Yeah, that's three words, great words. And let us know what other brands, if there's another brand out there that you're unsure of that you want us to kind of unbox and get going, just let us know in the comment section below. If it gets enough traction, we'll, we'll pull it in. But very solid stuff. Yeah, for and If sure. you're a Tiger fan, you'll no doubt like it. And I think even non-Tiger fans will like some of it. Yeah, and this stuff, if it's not sold out already, it's going to sell through the weekend because yeah. we got our second major of the year coming up. So. Oh, yeah. We'll see you guys next time.